Miners of Infinity and the ninth and final progression event called Fate's Labyrinth is now live. Let's check it out right here on That Teko Guy. Stay tuned. Are you ready to craft that ultra mega roller admin gauntlet miner? Well, now is the last miner that you need to collect in order for you to be able to do that. On my screen here, it is Fate's Labyrinth, and you can see the banner at the top here with the progression event that just started yesterday. So here we can see, and at the moment I do actually have a multiplier, a small multiplier, okay, of 1.2. You can see that there are still three days remaining at the time of recording this video. Uh, this is on until the 30th of August, and to get to a higher difficulty level in a game, for each and every difficulty that you advance in the game, you'll get 500 points. When you spend one RLT, except in the marketplace and in the crafting offer, you'll get 1,000 points. When you spend one RLT in the marketplace, you'll be getting 100 points. And when you spend one RLT for the crafting offer, you'll be getting 5,000 points. So that crafting offer is definitely one to look out for. And at the moment, we do have a crafting offer going on. And that crafting offer is here and it is called the last election craft and there are still two days remaining for that so you still have the majority of the progression event in order to be able to do some crafts here obviously make sure that when you're doing the crafts here you actually get the crafts with the RLT price because if you get the ones with for example the dodge price which is like the last one here you won't be getting any of those 5000 points the craft price is very minimal it's 0.1 but nonetheless, if you get 5,000 points by that 0.1, so you're getting the one tenth of that, you'll be getting 500 points for each uh, craft that you do here at 0.1 RLT. Uh, so you can do more than one, uh, so 500 points for each one. And if you do have a multiplier, obviously you need to multiply that with the multiplier you have, but that is one of the quickest way you can get those points up as well, especially if you have a multiplier. Something very important to mention as well is at the moment, if we go to the wallet section, you can see that there is 35% discount on Solana and 20% discount on BNB. So for each and every RLT here, okay, you're actually spending less crypto. So when you go to the RLT, uh, and do one and you go to Solana and select this for example instead of spending 0 0.006982 Solana you're actually spending 0 0.004538 okay so you're saving 35 percent meaning that you're getting more RLT for less crypto spending okay and you'll actually be gaining uh, a multiplier there for each and every RLT that you're spending and the RLT is a 0 0.1 one times so for example i have already exchanged two rlt so i got a 0.2 multiplier so with the one that is there by default so i've got 1.2 if i do more details again here you can see there is the life miner and that is the very last miner that will be in the list and the most powerful miner in this progression event and that is the ninth miner that you need for the mega craft now the mega craft is going to take place at the end of this week uh, and in the start of September. So I believe that's going to start on the 31st of August and it's gonna go through, if I'm not mistaken, until the 2nd of September or the, the 1st of September, something like that. You'll have two or three days to manually start the crafting. Remember, this is very important that you need to manually start crafting the Roller Admin Gauntlet which is gonna give you 28.8 petahash in power if you manage to collect all nine of those miners and the life miner is the last one in the series. So going on to Piero's list, thank you again Piero for the list as always. Clicking on the reward section here, we can see there are 15 levels in this progression event. And we're gonna start off from level one where you get 0.2 RLT just for a thousand points. You get some RST in this event as well. So the total uh, RST that you will get during this progression event is 310 RST with the RST in level two, the RST in level seven, and the RST in level 10. Okay, so that will total 310 RST that you can spend in the season store 
uh, and use to get some nice miners as well. Maybe open a couple of parts cases and do some mergers with those parts and things like that. You also get a temporary bonus power, total temporary bonus power of six petahash for an entire week. You can get the first one petahash at level three and you can get another five petahash at level nine. Okay, both will uh, be there and be valid for you for one entire week. It is temporary power, but it's still very powerful and will help you go up in the leaderboard at least temporarily. Okay. There is also a total miners bonus in this progression event of 20.56% for the miners that you don't already own and when you place each and every miner that you see in this list in your room. Okay, it's important that you need to place the miners now in your room. The bonus no longer counts if you leave those miners in your inventory at the bottom. So you actually need to actually apply those and put those in your room. And you can easily do that now with the auto set feature as well. And you set that with the bonus uh, priority. So you've got power, bonus or optimal. And that will prioritize um, either your power, your bonus, or it will get you a balance of both depending on which one you select okay if you don't know how to use the auto set feature i've got another video on that as well and you can check it out uh, as well on my channel so the life miner here at level 15 which is the most important one that you need and there's only one in this progression event there's not two okay i'm not sure if you can actually purchase this you might be able to i haven't checked yet but i will do that shortly as well so i'm just going to copy that so then i can check it out but this will give you 4.5 petahash and a 2.5 percent bonus at least until it comes time for you to actually do that mega craft to be able uh, to craft the roller admin gauntlet, which will, which will give you 28.8 petahash and a almost 10% bonus, 9.99% to be exact. There's also at level 14 the flux capacitor gate, which is already one of the miners that was featured in a previous progression event as well. Uh, this is a 3 petahash miner and it gives you a 4.2% bonus power so if you don't already have that maybe this time you'll be able to make it to at least level 14 to get that miner i would try to make it to level 15 especially knowing that you need need the life miner as well we've got singularity so i'm going up from the bottom here singularity is at level 13 one petahash with a five percent bonus five percent is quite uh, a significant amount of power crypto mirage Immortan Income, this is one that I haven't seen before. So at level 11, we have the Immortan Income at the rare level, and we also have the same Immortan Income at level 8. So you can get that quite earlier on as well. Okay, so we've got Emperor's Treasure at level 4, the Crank at level 5, El Monstro at level 6, all containing some form of bonus, 1%, uh, 1%, and 2%, respectively. And that is pretty much it for the entire list. It's a shortish. I would say shortish progression event, you need a total number of just shy of 11 million points for you to get all of the miners in this progression event, including the life miner. So that is the one, again, that you need to do that roller admin gauntlet mega craft, okay? Just one last thing before I go is that here you can see that my multiplier is now valid for four hours, 11 minutes, but when you actually buy uh, some tokens you, you buy, uh, you exchange from Solana to RLT. For the multiplier, you're going to get a duration of six hours. Okay, so that is important to know as well. So that gives you a bit more time to be able to leisurely complete all of the levels in the progression event. Um, you can even do some games and gain those points. You don't have to spam the loot boxes all the time. But yes, the loot box technique is the fastest way but it is also the most risky way because you might lose all of the RLT that you exchanged as well. But if that's worth it for you, uh, then you can go down that route. And uh, if you just want to do it faster, you can do it that way as well. So if I go to Marketplace really quickly and I'm just going to search for that life miner here. Okay, we can see it is for sale. At the time of recording this video, there are 15 available but it costs 210 RLT, so that is a pretty penny. So I'd much rather save some money. You don't need to exchange that mu much in order to complete this progression event. Like I said, it's just shy of 11 million points total that you need to get all of the rewards. 
So what I would do is I would exchange, for example, 120 RLT. You'll probably get something like times 13 multiplier. You can see that here. You'll actually be spending $81 to do that exchange. You're not spending 120 as you would if there were no discount available. So with that 35% discount on Solana, for example, you'll be actually getting more for less, pretty much, okay? So times 13, I think, is a reasonable multiplier that should see you all the way through to the very end of this progression event, okay? Good luck with that, and don't forget that manual craft that will be starting over uh, the weekend towards the end of the week. Hope that you found this video useful, and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below, smash the like button and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.